Pierre, you want to come out here? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Black right here on YouTube. If you didn't know, now you do know that you do know. Please click the subscribe button. Y'all, I look like somebody's... Bro, let's not even talk about it. But you know what? I'm trying to do the natural hair. Oh my God, a lot of people see me with this hairstyle right now. But you know what? It's self-beauty. And I feel like I look beautiful with my hair done. Not done. Who said this is not my hair being done? You feel me? So, you know, I'm going to pick out my hair. But today on this video, I'm going to show you guys how I do a slick back. I'm going to do a side. Like a little middle part. I mean, a side part. A side slick back with natural 4C natural nappy ass head. Feel me? So, what I'm first going to do, this is really just me. I'm not going to say, it's not like a recent, it's like a, bro. With this look, I'm just going to tell you guys, just pick out your roots. Anybody trying to handle nappy head, feel me? I need two hair ties for this. I need two hair ties. You know what? We're going to make it do one, okay? So I'm just picking my hair out. <sighs> That's exactly why my arms are so strong. Now. <laughs> okay, first, my hair not even nappy actually. My hair is really tamed. So, but this slick back, we're just gonna have to go by seconds because my hair is too thick to just put gel on the front part and just be done. So. What I recommend is using a tail comb or a rat tooth comb, whatever. Whatever you decide, you feel me? So, the girl got the plug lights here. I'm really just stuck on how I'm showing you to this. But, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. So, the thing I'm going to do first, I'm going to the back of my head, right? I'm going to show you guys how I part this. I'm going to part the back of my head so it makes like a low puff. So, I'm going to turn around. You feel me? And I'm just going to show you guys how I make this low puff. I'm gonna get parts. I'm gonna go around. After I get that, I'm gonna get my hair tied. Ooh. I'm still trying to get that part together. It don't have to be perfect, of course, but I'm gonna get that. Please don't look at my old spot. I'm gonna just get it. And I'm gonna tie it up with a little bow. I'm like, damn, girl, you really got no hair. This camera don't wanna stay still. I feel. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. But it's okay. So I'm going to get out my side part. I'm going to part it up. So I'm going to part this part right here. I'm going to part my side part right here. Yep, I'm going to have my side part like this. Okay? Side part. So. Y'all see me struggling? Damn! Okay. So you have the big old gel, cause you know the girl need the big old gel. Feel me? This ain't this ain't ain't lasting. It's not lasting. So we're gonna crack open the gel. I thought I need some on my lips. You feel me? Okay. So now you have this big old part where you need to gel this all down. Now you're just looking at it like, how am I going to gel all of this down? Now you're trying to figure out how you're going to gel all of this hair down. All of this. How you going to gel it down? So this is where we get to Dr. J. You feel me? Jo Dr. DeBrett. Dr. Brett. I'm just combing my roots out, to be honest. I even know it's going to curl up anyway. So I'm gonna get this part of my hair. I'm gonna part it right here. I'm gonna do small parts. I'm gonna do this part right here. And then I'm going to pin this um, side to this side. And I'm just gonna just control this part. If your hair is nappy, you feel me? Not nappy though. Don't say nappy. I have to comb out my roots. And this is where you get the gel. But you see how I use small sections right here? I'm going to get this small section and I'm going to gel this small section. I mean, you can make it smaller, which I think I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to make this part. 
Am I really? Yeah, I'm gonna keep like this. And I'm using my bristle brush too. But I'm gonna place the gel by hand. I'm gonna place it on my um, hairline right here. And then I'm gonna go towards the part of the hair. I'm gonna put gel on the root. Enough gel, you feel me? Because you know, girl, got a hair color lady. So I'm gonna get the brush with brush and I'm just going to scrape my hair going back. And as you can see, my hair is um laying down. If you feel like you need more gel, always get some more gel. We can put some more gel and then get your bristle brush and just brush it back. So this is where you see the excess part right here. You get your bow that you have made in the back of your head and you just add it. Add this part of your hair. And just make sure you have it tight and secured because your hair will curl up. If it's not like a decent type of tight. Then we're gonna unclip again. Part it again. And keep on join each part down until you get to your side part then i got this section and i'm going to get the same process decent amount of gel decent amount of gel i just really worry about the front of the hair because the front is really which very matters. It matters a lot. The front part of your head. So I'm gonna just brush this hair back. Make sure the gel is really in there. But as you can see, that gel is laying that nappy hair. Let me try to say my head is nappy, but it's laying that hair down then i'm gonna get the bow on the back of course i'm gonna take it out like that it's here to me you can also do the regular method where you make sure that um hair is not too lumpy my parents disappeared as soon as i was on the party again the one that's right here or right here mind this is the natural force here y'all don't forget don't and it's equal style, y'all. Some people say um, equal style is too light for the hair, but I feel like it's just enough. But I'm going to, of course, make another part right here in the middle of these two. I'm going to pin this back up to the back. And then I'm going to gel down this section. Give it a decent amount of gel. Put it on the front of your hair first. Make sure it's very, um, a very decent amount because we're trying to have this hair laid as possible. And because my hair is naturally like, really curly because it's sporty textured, your hair will curl up at the roots. So, anyways, it's okay if it's messy. And brace your waves. And this part, I'm just going to bring it back. I'm going to bring it back and then brush it. And that's just the gel. Then I'm going to tie it again. And I'll tie it back. Sorry about looking really at the camera, but I'm looking at the mirrors right over here. And it's my last section from this part. And I'm going to lay this last. Yeah, I'm just going to part. I'm going to section this away from my head. Again, I'm going to get the gel here since it's close to my root and I know I didn't pick it out earlier. I'm going to pick it out. And this one, for this um, front part, I'm going to use the raking method with a comb. Because, like I said, the front part of your head is very important. This is what everybody sees. And everybody trying to see, you know, lumpiness. You feel me? This is why I use the raking method. I get the comb and I just rake the hair. I break the gel across the head just so it don't look lumpy. And then I get the gel again and I just lay. Lay. Where my brush? Oh. I just get the brush and I just. Just brush the hair in the direction that I want it to be in. And 
And then I'm going to get the bow in the back again. And I'm going to... I'm going to tie it in the back of my head again. Ah! I got my bow higher because... Because that piece is, I guess, too short. So please just don't forget to brush in, brush your hair. Okay, because this part is really, um, really not that thick, I'm just gonna, oh my god, I feel like a crackhead right here. I could have zoomed in, but you know what, I'm just gonna do it now. For this part right here, I'm just gonna get the gel. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get the gel and put a decent amount near the front, of course. A decent amount. Don't OD, don't put the hair at the ends. I don't do that. I just put it in the front of the head. Where the scalp is at, because that's the most curliest. And then get this. And just brush it. So this is where I'm going to let the bow go. I'm just going to put gel access parts. That's just going to stick up. Brush it back towards your bow. Or bun or whatever you like to call it. And then you get it. You tie it. Make sure it's tight. These pieces just don't want to stay down. And that's it for the slick back look. But because I like to have like little pieces of baby hairs, because your hairs want to curl up. But girl, this is slicked. You feel me? Slick. So I'm going to get my toothbrush. My edge is too brush. So, for this part, I'm going to just go into my swoop motion. I like my edge to be in a swoop. So I just brush the edges, the ones that are babies. Not those long pieces of hair. I'm going to get some gel on the toothbrush. On the toothbrush. I'm going to get it in that motion, bring it down. And then I like to swoop up. Bring it down. Okay. Some days my eyes might look better than others. And I guess today is not today. You see that's happening. Then on this side, I take whatever, like the small pieces that come out. No big pieces, because that's not baby hairs at all. So I just get it and just swoop it. It's just, I feel like baby hairs is just what makes your forehead as small as possible. So then I get that, and then I take these small pieces and I just swoop them. In my hair. And then, the still. If I can find it. <laughs> <laughs>